Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be making some DIY room decor for the summer to kind of spruce up your room, make it a lot more bright and colorful and cheerful, all things summertime in your room. I really like how all of these turned out and yeah, let me know how you guys like these type of DIY videos and if I should do more by giving it a thumbs up. So yeah, let's just get into the video. I feel like Ninja Turtle right now. <laughs> Starting off with the gold foil prints, I see these everywhere but they're just so expensive so this is a less expensive way. You're just going to need some photo frames and some printouts from a printer as well as some gold paint and some poster board. Start out by picking some designs you like from the computer and printing them off. I chose a popsicle, a flamingo, and a pineapple. They're all perfect for summer. And you're just going to want to cut them out like a stencil. So just cut out the entire black part and leave the outer part. That's going to create the stencil. Next, just open up your photo frame and take out that little piece of paper or that fake photo of a family. <laughs> and that's going to act as our guide for cutting the poster board so we can put our print on it. And once you get everything cut out, now you can start painting on your design. So here, just lay on the stencil that we made onto the poster board and then start painting it with a sponge or a paintbrush. Removing the stencil is the best part. It's just, it's so satisfying. And yeah, so just go ahead and paint all of your other designs and then you'll be ready to put them in the frames and hang them on your wall. I've been looking for you Next, we're going to put together these planters that are inspired by outdoor flower markets. So all you're going to need are some fake flowers or you can use real flowers, some little pots, some chalk, and chalkboard paper. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut your flowers. I'm using wire cutters because most flowers have wires in them and they're pretty hard to cut with regular scissors. So just go ahead and cut them so that they fit into your pot. And after you're done cutting them, you can just go ahead and arrange them in your pot however you'd like. To make it a little easier, you can just get one of these pre-made arrangements and they're super cheap from Ikea and they work just the same. I accidentally cut this part out, but I'm just writing on some chalkboard paper what kind of flowers they are and how much they cost to kind of go for that whole flower shop vibe that's so cute. Last but not least, we're going to be making a no sew pillow cover. So what you're gonna need for this is just a half a yard of fabric, a pillow form, some scissors, and also some fabric glue. Start out by laying out your fabric flat on the ground, putting your pillow on top, and just like you're wrapping a present, kind of measure it out, and then you can just cut along this dotted line. Once you've got it cut, lay down your pillow on the fabric again, and flip over the fabric making a two inch gap and cutting again. This part's easier just to watch but next you're going to be taking the short end of the fabric and gluing it down to make a seam. So just line it with glue and then fold it over. I use about a half an inch. Once you have a clean seam go ahead and do the same to the other side. So this whole time you should have had your fabric on the inside, so now flip it over to the pretty side, the side that you want to be facing out, and place your pillow inside because we're going to be sealing off one of the ends. You'll want to have the pillow inside at this point so you'll know how tight to pull your fabric. So pull it tight and then go ahead and glue down the second flap. Here is where you'll flip your pillowcase right side out so that there are no seams and just pop out the corners. Put your pillow back inside the case and push it all the way down as far as you can to the seam we just created and then you're going to cut off the excess fabric at the top. You want to cut at this point because you want to make sure you have enough fabric to go around the whole pillow or you just ruined it so make sure you measure twice, cut once. 
Here I'm just doing the same thing I did on the other side, which is gluing down the seam so that you don't see any harsh edges. Once your seam is complete, go ahead and grab the two end pieces and place a little tiny drop of glue there and glue them together and make sure that your pillow is straight at this point. And the last step, just fold it over like a present and glue it down. And I made up this whole tutorial all by myself, so if it's a little confusing, I'm sorry. But it is one of the more complicated ones, but I thought you guys might like to see it. So I hope it was not too confusing. Whew, we're finally done. So that is how you make a pillow cover, and it's turned out so great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you try out any of them, like I said, you can send them to me on Twitter at TanaMontana100. My Instagram is also at TanaMontana100 as well. So you can be friends with me on there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you're alerted when I'm posting new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye guys. Took on the memories we shared.